All right, what's up everybody? I'm Tommy, and let me start off by saying that I'm a victim. I'm a victim of spring allergies here in Beijing. So if I do anything weird with my face uh, or sneeze or something, in that case, bless me. Uh, so apologies beforehand before we start. So today we're playing a horizontal access uh, detective game called Murders on the Yangtze River. Now, when I saw this game, I was I was really excited because I'm a huge history fan. I'm a history buff, and this game is based in the early 20th century, uh, when you know. The West and China were clashing and also mixing in many different ways. And just judging by this like homepage, uh, you can see there's this um, the steamboat and uh, the the nice uh, Chinese countryside uh, in the background. So it's you know it's a it's a time of turmoil and change, but also innovation and industry. And I'm very excited to see what this game has to offer. Honestly, um, it's got lots of positive reviews in China. I think it even won some awards here in China. Yeah. Developed by Omega Games, Omega Games, like Omega, I, I guess it. All right. The game takes you on a journey through early 20th century China. Da -da 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 -da. On the edge of your seat, use your logical reasoning and deduction skills to uncover clues, interrogate suspects, and solve the mysteries. With challenging puzzles and interesting characters to meet, Murders on the Yangtze River will have you hooked from the very beginning. Now I am excited because I grew up with all of these detective stories, you know, gentleman sleuths like Sherlock, um, and I've always wanted to go through that like mental process myself. So here we are. I guess uh, all we can do now is um, go go on this journey on this uh, little boat ride. Okay, new game. Oh, oh, edge of my seat already. All right, nice little boat, honestly. Today is the day I will be murdered. Uh oh. Okay. I just love Chinese calligraphy. I had an agreement with death. Now, I wait for him to open my doors. Oh! I hope that's not literally death. <laughs> what? It's not the same person though, right? Oh my... Wow. So he wakes up and finds a knife in his hand? Does sound like a misfortune. Open up! If you won't open these doors, we're breaking in. FBI, open up! Uncle? He's been murdered! Don't move an inch, you punk. Interesting choice of words. I wonder what it's like in Chinese. Would you look at that? This is an officer. I look at this um the the character design. I know that this character uh is you know um there's chess, but there's also Chinese chess. And in Chinese chess, the symbol for the pawn is this character. So him being an officer, I think that make, that explains it. Would you look at that? The murderer sleeping like a baby at the scene of the crime. My head is spinning. I can't seem to clear my head. So I th I'm, I'm guessing this is our main character. The murderer. Could he be called talking about me? Hmm. I think he was drugged, maybe. Okay, we, we can move here. Oh, I guess we're restrained. Stay still and quit moving, you murderer. <laughs> I think I'm gonna give this guy, like, a different accent. Because his, uh, his choice of words is quite unique. No, it wasn't me. He's a de detective, okay. Don't try to weasel your way out of this. Trust me, I'll torture you if I have to. Torture? Okay. Big Belly? Officer Ma, allow him to finish. It is necessary to verify his true identity. John Shen, a traveling detective. Wow. My assistant Frankie and I arrived in this town last night to obtain clues on an old case. Our ship broke down. Okay. So they got here late. This is Frankie, I guess. Considering our inventor burnt the generator. Huh. Oh, what's this lady doing? Crying? Maybe we should say hello. Are you alright? Oh! 
Bye bye. <laughs> yeah, that's a bit uh, a yeah, delicate matter. Let's continue our way. Who are we visiting? A novelist. A breakthrough in that case. So I'm, I think that m might be like the, the main storyline. I'll see you later. Okay, so Frankie is not joining us. Bye bye. He's off. And the novelist, I'm guessing, uh, lives here. Look at the, the background. Oh, I think these are rice patties. Rice patties, like uh, in the south of China. They have these terraced patties. They grow um, rice in the water. Anyway, candlelight. Give it a knock. Who goes there? It's late. I am John Chen. I have an appointment with Mr. Robert Lowe to meet here today. My journey was delayed and I did not wish to break our appointment. Have we met before? Never met in person. We always communicated through letters. Come on in, Mr. Shen. Please wait a moment. I must finish writing the story on hand for fear of breaking my train of thought. So, okay. So what he was writing at the start of the, the game uh, was probably a novel. No need to worry, I should bide my time and wait for yours. It's cold in the evening. Can I trouble you to close the doors in? Okay. Close the door. And lock it. Okay. Um, nice little room. Western style mirror. So yeah, Robert is, he's like dressed with the uh, Deerstalker hat, like uh, like Sherlock. It's his wardrobe. All covered in dust. Hmm. Hello, Robert. The doors have been closed. I came here on the account of an important matter. Have you ever heard of the peculiar case that happened in Tokyo three years ago? Has it? Hmm. Must be tired. I guess uh, I think these are the rice cakes. So have, have a taste. Local delicacy, eh? Just one piece. Oh, this is how he was drugged. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Uh oh. And then wakes up. With the dead body beside him. I lost my consciousness until you all arrived. Guys, by the way, we should be looking for clues um, in every sentence. Because I'm, I've been told that um, traces are hidden in every sentence, almost. Or well, true or false leads. I told you not to weasel. Even if you were drugged, the only possible murderer is you. He's got ironclad proof. Would it be possible to elaborate? How dare you? Tr the truth fears no questions. Surely the judge also wants to see your proof. Okay. Tell us what you know. So the officer has a theory. Deduction. Uh, got the deduction music playing. Um, up until we found the body, the room was completely sealed off. Sealed off. The window frame prevents anyone from entering or leaving through it. See this design? The door was bolted from the inside. Okay. If I hadn't broken the latch with my kick, we wouldn't have even been able to get in. Which means the murderer could only be somebody who was already in the room. That makes sense. This guy in his sword. <laughs> and that somebody is you. <laughs> How could this be? Yeah, so the room was sealed, he hung the latch, and there was a dead body. Hmm. Unless you are able to provide conclusive evidence to prove your innocence. So we need to look for proof, hey? Both of my hands are tied, how am I supposed to find evidence in such a short amount of time? Calm yourself down. Observation and reasoning, okay. All actions are bound to leave a trace on the scene. I'm absolutely sure that I did not murder the victim. Somebody is trying to frame me. Okay. We need to find a contradiction. Okay. 
Um, crime scene investigation. So there's a murder weapon, a dagger, stained with blood. Found within my grasp and now used as evidence against me. Okay, so it looks like we need to fill this progress bar with, with like clues. That's the victim, Robert. With multiple wounds on his chest, clothes stained with blood. His hands and feet and tired. Hmm. Stab wound. The victim died facing upward with multiple wounds to the chest. Hmm. There's this blood splatter. Is it on the mirror or is it like in the on the ground in the reflection? Several long continuous blood stains on the floor. Okay. They are cast off pattern blood stains. Quite prefer oh wow. Evident discontinuation within the three longest blood stains. So But we were lying there, right? And that's why the dagger's there as well. So I think we were in the way. So we were something being removed. Disrupted by something blocked blocking the way of the blood spatter, okay. The appearance of discontinuation shows that something was moved. And the blood stain on us? Yeah. Blood on the back? That's a contradiction, right? Because you won't be able to get uh, blood on your back if you're stabbing somebody like this or like this. Unless you're, you're holding the knife and then you're stabbing behind you, I don't know. <laughs> okay, so uh, I think we found it. That's the contradiction. Indeed. Plus saying um... So... We're trying to solve this case that we're involved in. Present evidence. I think it's this. Because there's blood spatters on, across the back, right? Officer Ma. This person is able to kill someone with a knife. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Of course not. If so... Why would there be blood on the back of the, the coat, right? What kind of cockamamie is this? With knife and blood, you're still saying you ain't guilty? <laughs> Take a look at where the blood stains are. They appear to be on the back and not across the chest. Yeah. So he was already lying face down when the victim's blood was spilled. And with my back facing the victim, I'm un unable to raise a knife. Yeah, makes sense. Because to stab the chest, you, it's usually stabbing downward, right? That's not that I have any experience. Mm -hmm. That's pretty easy to uh, find out. Yeah, so he's like, yeah, there we go. That his body was. Stabbed and the blood spilled this way. Hmm. The truth of the matter is, after the murderer killed Robert, he planted the knife in my hands to frame me for his crime. Hmm. Even while you're completely tied up, you're still able to calmly analyze the crime scene. Mm hmm. That's us. Genius, a detective. Historical fact. I think we can read, read those. Yeah, because Robert's the only other person, right? So... Okay, we're gonna be let go. Nice. Rest assured, I will not leave this place until we get to the bottom of this. Alright. So... We can now move about and collect clues. Cannot miss a single detail. I surely encounter many doubts, I should think carefully. Top left corner to view suspicions. Did Robert commit suicide? Hmm. So, if John didn't kill anyone, must it be a suicide? However, he could not have framed me for his death after committing suicide. So... Hmm. Okay. Now, I'm curious of these historical facts. Detective appeared in the Song Dynasty. 
So this in Chinese, I can read Chinese. Uh, Four Morse Jin Tai An. So this is Sherlock Holmes, uh, detective stories. Hmm. This is well researched, and it's it's a good bit of world building, right? General knowledge, cast off blood patterns. So this is like forensic science. This is what Dexter is the expert at. Sorry guys, um, I'm a victim of spring allergies in China, so if, it, if I sniffle or do anything weird with my face, or sneeze, that's why. So, who's, who's this guy? Uncle, you, such, you suffered such a miserable death. I'm so sorry for your loss. Okay, we need to investigate. You're the one who murdered him. There's no need for your crocodile tears. Okay. I'm sure you'd like to find out the truth. Going on the events of this morning. They okay. Arrange to go to the book book market. Are you also a novelist? Not yet. Okay. I understand. Please continue recounting what happened this morning. When the agreed time came, he didn't show up. So he came looking for him. And Earl Yang, this guy, was already here. He said he didn't see my uncle either. So he's a suspect. No one answered. A sensitive nose, and I kept s sensing the smell of blood. Okay. My novelist instinct. Okay. Yeah. Suspicious people. So you need to investigate all the interpersonal relationships to look for motive, right? I think that's the procedure. <laughs> Has your uncle held any grudges against anyone? My uncle's very friendly. He held some kind of grudge against Earl. Okay, that's our primary suspect right now. He attempted to steal coins during a delivery, but my uncle caught him. He was seized by the government and got beaten for it too. Oh, by the way, guys, interesting fact, fun fact. T being taken down to the gov government office and beaten, it's not like just getting beaten up by a bunch of guys, you get held down by like four or five people, your your pants, your trousers would be taken off, your robe, and then you're smacked with a plank of wood. So it's like literally getting a spanking. Um, you hit in the butt in the legs. So there are different sentences. You could get like 10 smacks up to like, I don't know how many smacks, but it's not only painful, it's, n it's also humiliating. So it's like, What's the, what's the expression? Uh, adding insult to injury. When did this occur? About half a month, month ago. Okay, so that's motive. After all, he's the one who delivers rice cakes to my uncle. And the rice cakes are drugged, so... Huh. Sneaky look. So we need to talk about... Talk to Earl, but where's Earl? Maybe we should look at the corpse first. Autopsy. Here we go. Press the screen and hold. Okay. Uh, limbs. There were no abnormalities. No hesitation wounds or defense wounds. What's a hesitation wounds? Series of self-inflicted shallow cuts made by people considering a suicide. Okay. So there's none of that. No defense wounds either. So he wasn't attacked? The deceased in his undergarments and his coat is gone. Right, he was wearing a coat. The coat is not in the room. So is it in the wardrobe? And the, the chest, the wound. Stained with blood, three evident stab wounds, two were fatal. Okay, so that's the knife is definitely the murder weapon. And, oh, this is so fun. It's like, it's really like Sherlock, guys. Like, taking the closer look at the body. Upon further inspection, there's glue on the underside. The mustache is Western, not Han Chinese, so it's a fake? Oh. Hmm. Why? Why would you do that? Collar? Oh, is that... White powder? Something made from clues. The rice cakes? So he ate the rice cakes too? Oh. 
Oh, so he was drugged too. Before he died. The hair? A faint fragrance can be smelled from the hair of the deceased. The scent is neither from flowers or incense or cologne. Seems to resemble camphor wood? Camphor wood? Okay, that's it. So we've got an autopsy now. Death by stabbing, no defense wounds, wore a fake mustache, only dressed in undergarments, and hair smelled like camphor wood. Let's look at the doubts. Did Robert commit suicide? No hesitation wounds. Um, no injuries caused by a fight or fall. Perhaps this can explain why there aren't any defense wounds present. The rice cakes, because if he ate before he was stabbed, he would have been stabbed when he was unconscious. The real reason why there weren't any defense wounds was because of the rice cakes. Yeah, same ones I ate. Yeah. Another person. So there must have been another person. And how did they leave? How did the murderer leave? I was the one who hung the door latch. Only Robert and I were inside the room. The only way to enter or exit is by going through the wooden front door. How did the murderer leave the scene? Yeah. How did the murderer hang the door latch from the outside? Maybe with like a rope or something? The fact that the coat of the deceased is missing is odd. Yeah. It's probably in the wardrobe, yeah. Grudge between Robert and Earl. Clarence stated that Earl was responsible for delivering rice cakes to Robert. Theoretically, Earl had the chance to tamper with the rice cakes. And he has a motive, so... Yeah. Where is Earl? In order to uncover the truth, I need to ask you a few more questions. Robert's apparel, his, um... Coat. Deer stalker, which is his hat. Fake moustache, yeah. The hat and moustache are all characteristics of his novelist identity. He purposely dressed himself in this way to become famous. Wow. The ill-fitting strange coat is also one of his characteristics. That western style wind coat, yeah. Made of silk, wow. Tailor-made wind coat. Yeah. Hide the best tailor and use the best silk for the coat. Hmm. The coat disappeared. Yeah, that's a problem. The murderer took it with him. Excellent coat for, excellent plot for a novel. Desk? Do we investigate this desk? He's bent over the desk. Okay. Crime scene investigation. We need to look for clues. The window? The frame on the window would stop anyone. Okay, so we need to fill this progress bar. The candle? Still unburnt. The calligraphy brushes. A piece of oil. The ink on one of the brushes has not dried out yet. Inkstone. There are several plum blossoms engraved on one side. There's one layer of residual ink on the inkstone that started to harden into gelled state. There's a book called Tales of the Moon Colony. There are several magazines underneath it, all of which are illustrated fiction. A stack of newspapers. Tales of the Moon Colony. Okay, so it's Chinese science fiction. Written in the early um, 20th century. The subject of the novel is a balloon. Look at this. Wow. Whilst encountering aliens. That's interesting. Okay. Um, the drawer, open drawer. Blank rice paper. So the calligraphy paper. Two pens, three candles, and a box of matches. Ink cartridge, a cartridge made of tin, holding half a used ink block. What are we missing, guys? Hmm. We've, we've clicked on this already. Maybe this? Stack of books, including Investigator and The Adventure of, Adventures of Sherlock Holmes. Oh, it's already come to China at this time. By the end of the Qing Dynasty, under the influence and intervention of new ideas, Chinese people were eager to explore Western culture. 
During this time, novelists easily became new favorites due to its accessibility and capabilities of being widespread. Detective fiction, with its intricate plots and ingenious case designs, be became the top choice. Wow. In Wow. First published in Chinese in 1896. That's quite early. Something is missing from the table. What's missing from the table? Nothing useful. However, I felt something unusual about the desk. It seems like something is missing from the desk. What could it be? According to Clarence, the coat is tailor-made. On one of the characteristics of his identity, wore it all the time. Something of such importance it must be left at the scene, but it's gone. So the murderer took it. Must have had a reason to do so. Maybe it was like stained with blood or something. Can we open this wardrobe? Let me try to pick the lock open. <laughs> I give up. If only Frankie was here. Okay, so we need to find Frankie for this wardrobe. Okay, old newspapers, undergarments. Robert Publishing, presumed innocent. I've heard about this novel before, but never thought that he was the author. Oh, that's the lady. The young lady is Petra Lü, an editor who helped Robert Fint publish his books. Okay. The bed. There were piles of old books underneath the novelist's beds, covered in dust. Okay, so we looked at the wardrobe, the bed, the desk. I'll talk to Clarence. We've done an autopsy. Let's talk to these guys, eh? I can't believe Judge Shang would allow you to join in on the investigations. Don't even try to play any tricks. Rest assured, officer. I will uncover the actual murderer. You better keep in mind don't mess up the crime scene with your incompetence. <laughs> Guys, my, my accent is horrible. I think I'll just stop. Okay, we need to ask him questions. Events before we were awake. Let me give you the facts. No one here is allowed to mess with the crime scene. On arrival, Clarence was shaking the door, saying he smelled blood and feared for his uncle. Went up and kicked the door open. This is Sparta. After that, well, you know what happened after. No one could have come in or gone out. There's a soldier guarding outside, okay. So I think we can go outside. Robert's relationships. He didn't like socializing, but didn't make any enemies. Robert was a broken down scholar. After failing exams, I'm guessing like imperial exams, he became a writer and succeeded. His wife died young oh, and had no children. So that's his nephew over there, the one who won't crit Sabi. <laughs> Stop crying already. That's it? Alright. Mm. Judge Chang. Anything out of the ordinary? Nothing unusual. Okay. Clarence shook the door, Officer Mark kicked it open, and we were found in blood. No one's suspicious. Hmm. Can we go outside? Examine front door. Simple and modest front door made of pine wood. The broken latch still hangs on the door, exposing the brown lines like the grain of the wood in, in, in it. Hmm. What good would that do when the door is locked from the inside? So he kicked it. He listen Sparta did. We can go outside. Can we escape? John, I've been waiting for you. Is that Frankie? Hey! Hello, Frankie. There has been a murder. Mr. Soldier, we need to get John, uh, Frankie in. We found a, found a murderer who's the prime suspect. <laughs> the prime suspect is me. Can't believe the murderer is actually... You. His honor has orders that random people aren't allowed to enter. Hmm. Sir, he ordered to you to guard the courtyard to keep out irrelevant people, right? Okay. Is Frankie relevant? John unfortunately became a suspect in this case. He's trying to clear his name. I'm his trustworthy assistant. 
I get it now. I knew you would understand. You're the accomplice! <laughs> uh, and... The accomplice is also involved in investigations. You can come in and be investigated. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's the general situation. Just a sigh for becoming an accomplice. Frankie is, looks pretty young. And look at this, like, he's got Google glasses or something. Look at this. What's this for? Interesting choice of, uh, spectacles. Rice cakes. I think that's Earl, right? What is this? It's rice cakes. Are they drugged? Why did you pause, detective? How, do you, how did you feel after eating a piece? And lost consciousness. <laughs> It's not laced with knockout drugs, okay. Alright, so... Earl Yang. Run errands and got called here by the... Uh, called the officials, okay. Everyone knows that I'm warm-hearted, considerate, help helpful, friendly. Just tell me what happened this morning. Mr. Lowe loves rice cakes. Every morning, Mr. Lowe will ask me to deliver a bundle. Every morning. So lots of carbohydrates. My service is 100% impeccable. Just tell me what you saw when you arrived. Mr. Lowe is already out of bed and exercising in the courtyard waiting for me. But I guess he wasn't there. Thought he probably overslept and so I hollered at him. Saw the gates were open so I went inside and put the rice cakes on the table. Then Clarence called my name and said he was also looking for his uncle. Knocked on the doors, no response. Okay. I'm so scared, so I ran all the way to the government office and got Officer Ma. You meant to say that you never entered Robert's house? After hearing someone died in there, my legs were scared stiff. How dare I go in? Okay. About Robert? How much do you know? Not very familiar, but he stole the, um... The silver, right? And he delivers rice cakes here every morning. Saw Robert Lowe and Officer Ma in private. Hmm. They got into a fight, and Officer Ma even unsheathed his blade. But Officer Ma unsheathes his blade all the time. <laughs> like, did you see the animation? I didn't dare listen, Officer Ma was quite furious, yeah. Okay. Robert and Officer Ma's dispute. About the rice cakes? Did he drug them? I passed out after eating, after eating the rice cakes. Don't say weird things! Never met you before, why would I do that? Hmm. Pass through anyone else. However, I heard that though, it's very fond of rice cakes. It's possible that someone bought it for Merchant Bao, is that another character? Grudge against Robert? Once you had a grudge with Robert. Because he was smacked at the government. Beaten at the government for it. Misunderstanding? I saw silver coins on the floor, so I wanted to pick up pick them up and return them to him. That sounds like an excuse. Hmm. It's only half a month ago, you're forgetting so soon. Could it be that you felt wronged by Mr. Lowe and decided to kill him out of vengeance? What? <gasps> I love these, uh, different expressions. Stay hydrated, guys. Okay. I don't think Earl is the, um... is a real suspect. Because he doesn't seem very sophisticated. And this case seems quite sophisticated. What do the chickens say? Free-range chickens have delicious meat due to their ample exercise. Okay. Um, guess we go back in. Because we need Frankie to open the wardrobe. See, he unsheathes his blade. Like, all the time. Who gave you the nerve to break in? He's here to assist. Okay. He's skilled in comparing traces and knows mechanical techniques. 
Yeah. Yeah, science. Clear your doubts. Okay. If you fail this, I'll add obstruction of official duty to your list of crimes. Okay. Obstruction of official duties. New criminal code of the Ching So this is a real... Real, um... Uh, it was a penalty. Use deception to influence officials to impose or remove certain sanctions. <laughs> wow. Okay, let's go in. The wardrobe is locked. Do you think you can find a way to open it? Okay. So we're gonna pick the lock. What should you do in touch that wardrobe? We obviously we need to. Yeah, it's one of the few remaining blind spots. Mm -hmm. Due diligence is crucial to this case. Do we have a warrant? Okay. Attempt to unlock it. So we just keep trying. Oh, it's stuck. Okay. Oh? Is it a, like, um, a pattern? Oh, that was easy. I did it! Ooh. Someone hid inside this wardrobe before. The partition board removed. Clothes piled. Enough, for sp enough space for one to hide here. Could it be that the murderer once hid inside this wardrobe? Well, it can't be because it's locked from the outside. Clean clothes, now piled onto one side. The partition board couldn't compress the clothes of that. There's a strip of cloth over there, could this be a clue? It's a bunch of- a bunched up strip of cloth. Used as a ribbon. Dirty in the middle. Smudged with dust. So the ribbon was removed from here. Hmm. It's a piece of wood. This black spot. A wood chip. I guess a piece broke up from the partition board and landed here. But the colour and texture differs from that of the partition board. I'm knowledgeable in wood. Let me take a look. I smell it as well. It's not the same material as the partition board. Camphorwood wardrobes repel insects and leave a lasting fragrance on clothes stored within. However, this chip has no fragrance. It's a brownish it's brownish and hard. It's pine wood. Is that from the latch? The door latch? Okay. Objects around the house are pine wood. I think it's from the latch. This seems quite odd. Look closely at the bottom of the wardrobe. The left side with clothes has dust on it. And the empty space on the right is unusually clean. Seems that somebody cleaned this place. Intriguing. So we need to talk to Officer Ma about the time he unsheathed his blade. Okay. Dispute with Robert. I also believe that Officer Ma has nothing to hide. There's no harm in telling you about it. Ask me to drink and share experiences for his novels. Why would there be a new need for you to draw your sword? Hmm. Only a verbal dispute. We just had different views on a case. Okay. What's our, what do we have so far? The grudge between Robert and Earl. Earl seems somewhat flustered and he had a chance to drug the cakes. Officer Ma? My intuition tells me that his connection with Robert is not as simple as he depicts. The ribbon is dirty in the middle. It must have been used in some way to leave such a smudge. Do you think the murderer took the ribbon to bind you or Robert? Mm -hmm. There are no ligature marks, like um, marks from the binding. Can't help but feel like I've seen it before. Where was it? Oh, it's this? 
and saw clothes strips hanging from the ceiling. Could it be that Robert was strangled to death before he was stabbed? Yeah, strangulation marks around the corpse's neck. And also he was drugged, so why would he need to be strangled, right? Wood chip is from it's from the latch, I'm telling you guys. Definitely from the latch. There's a reason why I'm so interested. It's relevant to the case. Okay. I think yeah, definitely from the latch. What? So what's here? Oh, characters. Nice, they've got the age and the occupation. Frankie is 18. Wow. Young dude. Kelly, Kelly Ma. <laughs> Billy Chen and Kelly Ma. Clarence Lowe. Raymond Chang. Earl Yang. Robert, yeah. Okay, so evidence to link it with the the piece of pine wood. Latch. Here's proof. This wood chip fell from the door latch. Yeah. Perfect match. Wow. That was easy. How could a wood chip from the fracture of the door latch appear in a wardrobe? Hmm. Okay. What else do we have to do, guys? Made of walnut wood. We've seen this. Hmm. The bed? Let me see what kind of books a novelist reads. Hmm. Frankie, there's no need to read it out loud. Okay, I know what this is. Um, you guys look up what the Golden Lotus is. Uh, quite interesting, and that'll explain why that book is hidden underneath the bed. So if you've lived in China any amount of time, you'll know what this is. What are we missing? We've seen in the wardrobe. Check the desk. Do we need to talk to Clarence? No? Plates? For the rice? Okay. I think that's it. I have uh, nothing left to investigate. Begin reasoning now. Still lots of mysteries we haven't solved yet. Okay. Even though the truth is yet to be clear, we can discuss this case with Judge Chang. Okay, let's do it. Your Honor, we can discuss this case. Shh. Oh, the music changed. The room was in a sealed off state. The window was blocked. The only access from the front door locked from the inside. When the front door was reopened, the deceased and I were the only people inside the room. So under these circumstances, would everyone would believe that the murderer must be someone who is still within the room. Hence, we have all neglected the possibility of a third person. Okay, what on earth would that third person be hiding? Where? In the wardrobe. Yeah, definitely someone hid there. Was the person hiding in this in the wardrobe the murderer? Can't be the murderer because the wardrobe was locked when we arrived. Um, so it was. I'm gonna say it's someone else. It was someone else. Why? Because when I arrived, yeah, this wardrobe was already locked from the outside. If the person inside was a murderer, he would not have been able to get out and commit murder. So, if the person inside the wardrobe was not the murderer, who could it have been? I was the one who hung the door latch from within the door. Theoretically, it is highly likely for anyone, uh, highly unlikely, for anyone else to enter the scene after that. The current situation is not much different from the past. Okay. The wardrobe is the only place to hide. And blood analysis confirmed that a third person present during the crime is a true culprit. If the person inside the wardrobe was not the murderer, then it could only be this person. Uh... You know, guys, I'm pretty suspicious of... So, 
one of the people in the room has to be Robert, because he was killed. And one, the other, us. And it can't be the murderer in the wardrobe. Could it be... Could Robert have been? Hmm. Oh, am I right? It was not the murderer. It was Robert. Hmm. What a load of bull. Why would he hide inside his own wardrobe? It's the only possibility because when you have eliminated the impossible, whatever remains, however improbable, must be the truth. And what is the reason for Robert to hide inside the wardrobe? In search of inspiration for his novels? Should we click on it just for fun? Is a man with strange habits who might have peculiar acts to write his novels. <laughs> Makes sense! If so, does that mean the situation of the wardrobe is irrelevant? Not quite. Okay. So, oh, so we lost a life. He did not hide it by his own will, he was hid inside by someone else. So if the person we met last night was not Robert, then it must have been the murderer. The person I saw was the actual murderer. The candle still lit inside upon my arrival. I had to knock for some time before getting a response. Before opening the door, they even specifically tried to confirm if we had ever met before. If the person you met was not Robert, how couldn't you recognize the corpse this morning? He wore a fake mustache, lowered his hat's brim, and kept his back turned to me in dim light. The real Robert was knocked out and in inside the wardrobe. Okay, yeah. All just speculations. You got any evidence that proves the person was hiding that was hiding was Robert? Um, he ate the rice cakes. Is that it? This is an autopsy report, and... Oh, no. Robert's hair smells of camphor wood, confirming he was hid inside the wardrobe. Camphor wood wardrobe repels insects, da -da 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 -da. If Robert's clothes catches the scent, his hair should not, unless he was inside the wardrobe. Yeah. Don't forget that he usually wears a hat. But... This hat has no scent, perfect, okay. That is a reasonable analysis. What else did we find? Okay, yeah. Rice glutinous rice powder. White glutinous rice powder. From the rice cakes. He ate the rice cakes that were laced with the drugs. And he, the fact that he was stabbed three times yet had no defense wounds, you know, to protect himself. Likely removed and reattached. All of the details above confirm my deduction. That the, the Robert I met last night was actually impersonated by the murderer. Wow. But the door latch. But the wood chip proves that it was broken, right? The front door is the only exit, and the door latch can only be hung from within the room. Please take a look. This is the key to solving the mystery of the door latch. The wood chip. The key lies within this wood chip. It's not the same wood, so that's that's the main point appeared on a pile of clean clothes. More importantly, the inner wardrobe is made of camphor wood, and the wood chip is pine wood. The wood chip matches the broken latch. Wow. Flew off when the door latch was broken. But the wardrobe was locked. So that means the latch must have been broken. This is extreme, extremely abnormal. Why would the wood chip appear inside the wardrobe? Um... It doesn't matter, it's the timing, right? Whatever caused the ward wood chip to appear, it's, it's insignificant. What we need to focus on is when the wood chip entered the wardrobe and what it uncovers. Mm -hmm. um, what does it uncover? When the door latch broke, the doors of the wardrobe were still open. The most recent time we know of that the wardrobe doors were open was before he woke up. Doesn't that mean? That means before Officer Ma kicked the doors open, the door latch was already broken. Wow. Genius. You're the best, Detective. Thank you, Frankie. No wonder it was so easy to kick open. 
all contact leaves traces. The murderer's plan was flawed by Woodchuck. Nice little fan. You know how Sherlock has uh, a pipe? Detective John Shen has a fan. And I'm already a fan. Okay. The person who murdered Robert is... Well, Clarence was holding the door when Officer Ma kicked it open. So he must have known that the door was already open. So I think he's our main suspect. But I wonder what will happen like if you if you chose somebody else. Like like Billy Chen. The murder of this case is soldier guarding the gates outside. I heard that. I have an alibi, Yorna. Please help me out. <laughs> okay, we've got lives. We can afford to um Yeah, okay, let's go with him. Do you guys think it's Clarence? Yeah, he's, he was holding the door, so that must have been it. How could I possibly kill my own uncle? This guy is throwing mud on me. You believe that Clarence Lowe is the murderer, where's the evidence? The door latch was not broken when the doors were kicked open, but broken beforehand. So the so-called sealed off state of the room was an illusion created by the murderer. He appeared to knock on the door, but he was just securing it from unwanted men entry until he kicked down the door. That's when he let go of the door, okay. This way he could mislead others into the into thinking that the door was locked from the inside. You've all been fooled by his performance. It wasn't me. You were blinded by your ego. Your scheme has a fatal weakness. Weakness? Yeah, to ensure the success of his plan, you had to control the door at all times. Yeah, Clarence is the murderer. You, you lie! Okay, is he gonna offer a, a, a rebuttal? I have something to say too. Okay. Said a bunch of absurd theories. Did you really see it happen? You're the one who's misleading everyone. What evidence do you have for saying that? I have no motive. What? My family by blood, why would I want to kill him? What's more important is the problem between you and me. This is the first time we've ever met, am I right? That's correct. We have never met each other before. If we've never met, why would I go through the trouble of framing you by killing my own uncle? Hmm. How could I design a plot to frame you? point. They've never met, so why? Things aren't looking too good for us. That's right, Frankie. Oh, there's music. John's reasoning has never been wrong. Okay, so what's the, what's the reason? You think that wood chip is enough? Ha! Ah! <laughs> this guy sounds guilty. Do you have any further evidence? Okay. What's the evidence? Hmm. Yeah, just giving him in inspiration for his novelist career. Am I really gonna let him escape? Detective, try and think harder. Could it be that we missed some kind of clue? Didn't you always say that you were always you were really confident in your memory palace? Evidence that can be used to accuse Clarence must still be in this room. Well, thank you, Frankie. All contact leaves traces. The evidence is not non-existent, but instead undiscovered. All objects and all images settle in different locations sequentially. Okay. Something's missing from the table. Oh, he was writing something when we arrived last night, right? Yeah, I think it was a piece of paper. The ink on the inkstand has not dried yet, so somebody was writing. Probably Clarence. Mm -hmm. When was the manuscript taken away? 
When investigating the desk, I felt strange. But this will be the case break. Hmm. Yeah, the words see that. I remember now. Upon waking, I recall seeing the manuscript on the desk, calling, causing a peculiar sensation within me. This means that the manuscript was taken after I woke. Someone concealed this clue during the investigations. Clarence did it? Whoa, who's this? Is this like his alter ego? Like Dark John? It's the probability of the emergence of other possibilities. It's very low. No one else on the scene had the motive to conceal clues. How do we treat these low probability events? We temporarily exclude them from our hypotheses, okay. Could you go away? Wow, I like this like internal war that he has with his alter ego. Assuming the murderer hid the manuscript, this manuscript must be very important. Incriminating. Motive, key evidence, last words. Too many possibilities. The question you're supposed to be asking is why would something he risked taking away in broad daylight be left behind that night? They forgot it? Okay, yeah. Although it sounds unbelievable, unbelievable, the murderer forgot something at the scene. Upon returning, he recognized its importance. This case was a homicide, the scheme was planned in advance. Okay, he carried out his plan very carefully, but what could they have forgotten? Not everything went according to the plan. Because he arrived, right? My arrival. Yes. Guys, we're onto something. He designed a locked room and framed me for his crime. The most unreasonable part of all this is that I became the part of his murder plan. What if you hadn't appeared? They... You just said the Clarence would have carried out a meticulous plan. Evidently the murderer had another murder plan, which was his original plan. Foiled by my surprise visit, and realizing I'd never met Robert, the killer improvised and posed as him to frame me. What was the murder's original plan? Hmm. I think the the ribbon hanging from the ceiling was part of falsifying his suicide, right? I think so. If I had not appeared, there would have, would have only been Robert's calls. Original plan was to make Robert kill himself. Okay, falsify his suicide. What could have been hidden on... Ah, suicide note. Okay, so a dying declaration for suicide note. Hmm. Thank you, Dark John. Okay. I think we've solved it. I, John Chen. Okay. Seeing how much this bothers you, I would actually like to give Detective Chen another chance. Clarence and I are complete strangers, but I became a crucial part of his scheme because... Clarence improvised his plan. His original plan was to falsify Robert's suicide. Oh, I think we're onto something, judging by his face. To falsify a suicide? Do you have any evidence? I believe the murderer accidentally left a forged dying de a suicide note when he fled the scene. If you found a suicide note, dying declaration, take it out for everyone to see. Where is it? Officer Ma, may I ask you a question? Do you remember seeing a piece of paper on the desk? Now that you mention it, I think there was. But then again, I don't remember that either. Not to tamper with the crime scene. However, during investigations, the murderer secretly hid the de dying declaration under your nose. Let's search the room again and find the declaration. Amazing. Okay. Uh, sounds reasonable, but we need evidence? Yeah, solid evidence to settle this case. Okay. We have an obligation to find this. We need to point out where it is. Give me one more chance, is what he just said. Alright. I think it's on Clarence's person. Probably in his robe. 
Right? They're hidden. It's hidden right there. Ah. On his person. It's hidden on you. Yeah. Ma and I both searched inside and outside this house. No declaration was found. It's on you. Does John Chen want to search my body? I'm a provincial scholar. I shall be treated with dignity. A scholar who has passed a county level imperial examination is known as a cultivated talent. Wow. Okay, let's continue with the case, guys. Off track. It's this exact location. Is it, like, hidden here? I think so. We have to point it out. The manuscripts should be the book that you've been holding this time. Ooh. This is exciting. Officer Ma, take that book book for examination. Hand over that book. You... you... Where are you running off to, huh? I guess they can't animate this. <laughs> A piece of paper folded in there. In dire straits, I'll take my life. My dear nephew, please manage my affairs. Keep it simple. Wow. It's a suicide note. There we go. I think it's uh, an ironclad case, as they would say. You admitting it? No, 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 no. Regardless, yeah. Don't commit murder, guys. It's bad. Could you recall the sequence of events for the entire case? The initial plan was to drug Robert and use a ribbon to kill him. By using the door latch, he could create the illusion of Robert hanging himself in the locked room. However, during his act of murder, I arrived. The only option was to frame John. So he drugged me, killed Robert, and framed me. He broke the door latch according to his original plan, and not knowing everything leaves traces. Clearing the blood took longer than expected, delaying the scene preparation that he had planned. As he was in a hurry, he left many loopholes. When he broke the door latch, he did not notice the wood chip that flew into his sleeves. That seems far-fetched. Like, the wood chip dude perfected into his sleeves. Without notice, the wood chip slipped from his sleeves and left inside the wardrobe. The most fatal one is he left the uh, suicide note. Wow, I think it's solved, guys. That's quite satisfying, solving a, uh, a case like this. No, 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 no. None of you truly understand. That's mine. It belongs to me. All of this is mine. No way, no way, no. Oh, oh wow. Just fainted. Mm-hmm. I think that's it. After this, I believe there's a uh, case number three. Still have a glimmer of doubt. The handwriting and Robert's manuscript are strikingly similar. Yeah. In order for this to be an ironclad case, evidence needs to be found. Oh, the coat. Yeah. The coat is missing. He probably took the coat when he first left the scene. What reason is that? I suspect it was stained with Robert's blood. As I suspected. Hans must have taken them away. However, he didn't have much time to deal with these items, so they're still hidden. Do we have to find it? Yeah, if we find that he's hiding a coat, this is an ironclad case. Hmm. What's left of the matter is all procedural. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, we've solved it. Should we move on to case number three? Detective, you don't seem very happy even though the case is closed. Is it because you haven't figured out the matter? Frankie, do you still remember the reason why I came to visit Robert? You told me it's related to Robert's manuscript. You wanted to look into the case that happened three years ago in Tokyo. Your brother. Actually, I checked the location, local newspapers for this, but I didn't see much was reported. Due to the, to the particularity of the location of the crime, the police were ordered to maintain secrecy. 
Perhaps no more than five people knew of the details of this case. Recently, I stumbled on a new detective fiction published on the Shanghai News. Was it the one that Robert was writing? That's correct. Well, the writer Robert Lo lives far off in a village in Hunan. What's eerie about the matter is... The details of the crimes written in Robert's novels are exactly the same as that case. Wow. So Robert knew about the, the case? Go grab some breakfast. Yeah. The fermented bean curd. Alright, I think that's it. Ready for case three? Go? Oh, I think it's a like an Easter egg. The end of a Marvel movie. Okay, we need to find the coat. Okay, we need to go to Clarence's house. Is it in the well? Huh? That's moving implies. Oh, okay. Brook. Did you throw it in the brook? No. Are you hungry for fish? I just wanted to fish. Yeah, yeah huh? let's go. Giant tinder bamboo. Mr. Edison was inventing the light bulb. He tried over a thousand materials. He discovered that this type of bamboo can be made into good filament for carbon after carbonization. Okay, for the light bulb. Where did my bamboo knife go? Oh, do you think his bamboo knife was the murder weapon? <laughs> wow, nice village. May the god of literature bless me. Let's not go just yet. What's the matter? We still haven't found the coat. Okay. Is this his Clarence's house? Yeah. Hmm. The soldier guarding it with a seal? Mm hmm You're the accomplice. <laughs> We're entrusted by Officer Ma to search for evidence. Okay. John can bring home the bacon. Let's go. Okay. It's so hot in this room. Not just hot, but sweltering. Oh. Is this a fragment of the coat? Yeah, definitely. Can't I investigate? Bed is made neatly. At the end of the bed, it's a pair of nice lady socks. Hmm. Weird fetishes. Strange traces? The empty space here looks slightly cleaner than other places. Huh? The scroll was hanging here or something? Yeah, that's it. Bookshelf. Untied of the Adventure of Sherlock Holmes. Adventure of the Naval Treaty, A Case of Identity. All translated works of Sherlock stories written by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. Nice. The desk. Some dents on this paper. Oh. Huh. It's not very clear. Hmm. The paper that was written on has been taken away. I can't read this, uh, so unclear. Huh? Who's that in the portrait? He's not a good person. It's the villain in Detective Sherlock stories. Oh, uh, Moriarty. <laughs> no wonder he became a murderer. Cool. Wow. I think we can open this wardrobe too. With Frankie here. 
Right, here we go. Oh, first try. Okay, so one, two, three. Okay, so one, two, three, and four. Here we go. Oh, is that a body? Oh, okay. It's the lady, it's the lady that was crying. So it's part of the next case, I think. Case number two. Okay. The trial play for case number three can be here. So, um, since we've been staying hydrated, I'm going to excuse myself and head to the washroom and we'll be back very soon, alright?